Right guys, today we have a very popular look and we are looking at Forest Blake or also known as Rocky Pines. And I would describe this look as being uh, an earthly color grade, moody but still well exposed. And you could also describe it as being a little on the vintage side or on the rustic side. So I'm gonna go about showing you guys how I would go about creating a color grade like this. And be sure to give them a follow as the creator's content is always in the description and let's get into Lightroom and see what happens. Right guys, so in Lightroom now and as you can see this is our reference image and this is our image and the first thing I'm going to do is bring up the exposure and then I'm going to bring up the temperature. I'm going to take that purple down. Highlights can come down a tad. Shadows up. White's coming way up. Bringing down those blacks. You really want to drop the blacks, crush the blacks, and then bring them up in the curves, and that's what's going to give us that fade. and bring down that saturation. Right, curves. So doing my favorite curve with three points at the bottom. Bring down those whites a little. and that looks good. So moving on to HSL sliders and we're going to bring that red closer to an orange orange a little bit bringing down the yellows The greens can stay there, aqua can come up, blue can come up, and magenta. Almost all the saturations are coming down. Everything's coming down. And 32, 35, about there. And now luminance. So most things are now coming up. Really gonna pop those oranges. Reds will come down a bit. Really pop those yellows. Green, just a little bit. We'll leave split turning. Sharpening can stay there up to you. And vignetting is definitely a vignette. And this is a really good image to do a vignette because our eye is very much leading to the center of the frame. And we'll bring up some, quite a bit of grain. And that's about it for that image. And there's just a few things we could maybe do to enhance it. Let's 
brush on these roads. Hold Alt and click up on Reset and we'll reset. As you can see where we brushed. Add some text that will really add some texture into the road. And I think that just sort of helps your eyes go down that road. And I think that's it. So I'm going to save this image as a lot. At Rocky Pines. Uh, I'm not going to I'm going to keep white balance saved. I won't do exposure and I won't do filters. And create. Right, now our LUT is down here. And let's look at our before and after. Before, after. And now let's see how our LUT looks on other images. So let's get this one. And let's apply Rocky Pines. Now this is pretty harsh lighting, really harsh lighting from our last image but we should only have to change stuff in this top region to correct the lighting and then our fade, our colours, our everything else will be fine. It's just that we're going to have to change up the lighting. I'm going to bring it way down and that's going to give me a lot more room to work with up here so I'm going to bring the shadows right up I'm going to bring the blacks right up and the whites up and there pretty much straight away get a pretty good looking image before, after, and yeah, I'm going to leave that image how it is, and let's move on to another one. So, really like this faded, yellowy, bright grass. It's a real signature look for this style. So, let's see what we can do with this image. Let's apply our lot, Rocky Pines. And for this image, it's really green. So what we're going to have to do, I'm going to really warm it up. And that's taken a lot of that green out. But we're also going to add, we're going to add in the opposite of green, which is some purple tint. And that's looking much, much better. And bring down the exposure a little. And it's looking good, but I think we can do some other stuff. So the door is very much the center of the image, but it's very dark. So I'm going to bring that door out. And we've got this cool sign up here falling apart, so we definitely want to get that. And 
Yeah, I'm just gonna up the clarity and it'll make it look really rugged. And there is a nice, that grass is nice and bright and it's leading in towards those doors. So I think it's a really cool image. That's before, that's after. Could play around with this a bit more. Those blacks, however you like to do it. And moving on to the, another image. So a lot of greens, nice bright greens. A bit different from the other pictures. So let's try this image. Now, this is looking bright and kind of very dull. So let's apply a lot. And it's looking pretty good. Let's bring up the temperature. Down the exposure. So the good thing about the LUT, even though you have to change it every time you put it onto another image, at least you only have to change the brightness and maybe the white balance. And I'm going to up the vibrance a lot. looking pretty good you might not want to have that overexposed bit in the middle but I think it looks pretty cool pretty good and yeah I think if we had a subject in there that, that would be a really cool image much like this one so before looking pretty dull and now pretty moody pretty vibrant So I think that looks really good. And I think we've got one more. And this is probably my favorite image. I really like the tones in this image. And I'm just gonna show you how our LUT can just really grab these tones. Really create these tone tones really quickly. So let's apply it. And shouldn't need much adjusting. The only reason we would have to adjust quite a bit in this image is that we've got a really blown out sky. So I think that's, yeah, that's happened in camera. So it's not because of the light. So to make that less obvious, we might have to play around a bit. Bring those whites way back might help us or I'm gonna go put a heavy vignette on still looking blown out but at least you can see those tones there's really nice earthy vintagey tones are really are really there so that was our before and that's our after and not many clicks at all so I'm pretty happy with that and if you don't mind the blown out area then it's a very good image so that's about it. Make sure you go give Rocky Pines a follow. And yeah, comment down below who you might want to see. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.